If you think of teaching mathematics, first things that come into the mind are some kind of exercises, formulas, calculations. All these abstract entities are far away from students' experience. As a result, many struggle with mathematics. But what about other skills, like biking? As embodied approach to cognition explains, when we learn to bike, we are in continuous interaction with the environment. If I lean too much to the right, I immediately feel that I need to bow to the left. And if I am too much to the left, I adjust myself to the right. Through this continuous feedback, a new, very stable skill emerges, and I will never forget how to bike. Embodied approaches to cognition that become more and more widespread within cognitive science and mathematics education research reassure us that mathematical concepts such as a number or a slope are also grounded in our bodily experiences. So, can we teach mathematics in a similar way like biking? Within embodied design approach suggested by Dor Abrahamson, we create digital environments that continuously support students in elaborating mathematical actions. So, if a student puts a point a little bit too high, the frame becomes red. When a point is in a correct position, it is again green, and if it is too low, this frame informs that there is not a correct movement and becomes red. Be based on this continuous feedback, a student can maintain the frame green. And generate a sign graph. In this way, a new way of movement, a sign movement, will emerge in a, in a student body. Of course, it's not the end. It's not yet mathematics. Later, students will reflect on their actions and discuss them with their peers and teachers. And as a result, the notion of sign and sign graph will be deeply understood and grounded in their embodied experiences. If you would have asked me what, what sign actually was before I was doing it, I, I guess I had no idea. <laughs> um, I finally understand what it, what, what it actually tells. I think I definitely want to use those because um, for me it's, it has been um, a puzzle why we use so many activities in uh, primary school, especially in the lower grades. And then when we go up to higher grades, we don't use so much activities anymore. Whereas my experience as a teacher is that if you use different activities, students are more motivated because uh, they like to do different things. And the other thing is that um, when these activities are carefully designed, like the embodied activities, you're learning the same phenomena in different ways. And that makes it easier to sort of embed it in your, in your ideas or in your network of uh, mathematics. Uh, I think they liked it. And what was very interesting that is that um, I told my students in the classroom already that uh, for a sign graph you could move uh, one finger in a circle and the other one in a sign, so like that. Um, 
but when I did that, they did not understand it. And after that, they did these activities. Um, they, yeah, they suddenly understood what I was talking about. So that showing them only the visualization, even if it's a, a dynamic visual visualization, does not seem to work. They really have to, yeah, do it themselves somehow. Thanks for watching and I invite you to try these activities yourself below in our website and participate in the studies and finally make your mathematics teaching as easy and stable as biking.